Hello everyone. So this is the second part of the ESP to PC serial communication video. A quick recap in case you didn't watch the first part. So basically I went through two pieces of code, a Python and an Arduino, and then explained how these two enabled us to maintain a bidirectional communication between my PC running Python and, a, and an ESP32 running Arduino code. So as I mentioned in the end of the previous video, in this video we will discover how to actually use these codes to do some useful communication. And in our dummy application, we will have the Python code in it, but be the master that sends commands coming in from us, the users, and the ESP as the slaves that listens to these commands and decodes it to, to behave accordingly. So there will be four commands, the letter B followed by a four-digit number, the letter O followed by a four-digit number, the letter F followed same by a four-digit number, and the letter H. By default, the ESP would blink an LED with a frequency of 1 Hz. If the ESP receives a B, then it would decode the 4-digit number following that letter and update the blinking period to that value. If it receives an O, it would keep the LED on for the period uh, decoded by the 4-digit uh, number and get back to the last blinking pattern after that uh, period expires. If it receives an F, it would turn off the LED for that 4-digit period, and if it receives an H, it would halt and do nothing forever. So, hopefully everything is clear, and let's go into it. So, we, the first thing that we need to do is to interpret the first character of each uh, command. So, we created this function which named interpret. It takes in a character, which is the first character of each command, and we have a switch case here. We have five cases. Uh, the case where the first character is a B, then it's an O, then an F or an H, and in case it's an unknown command like um, whatever, like T or L, whatever. Anyway, so we start by the default command, the default state where uh, we don't have a known uh, character. And uh, we have this uh, this interpret function would return the uh, the state of the state machine that we're gonna create uh, later. So these are the states. We have a blinking state, an on state, an off state, or an uh, halt state. I'm naming them, naming them as the V state, O state, F state, H state for clarity and simplicity. Anyway, this is the state machine and we're gonna switch the state of the machine, of our machine, like it's in its name. So in case we have a B state or a blinking state, we're gonna add in the code later. The O state, the F state and the H state. Uh, I'm just creating the template here. Anyway, so don't forget your breaks in your switch statements switch case loops anyway so now we have our states we're gonna need a delay uh, variable which gonna hold in the uh, at start the default uh, delay value which is one second then it's gonna hold uh, the the command that uh, get from the commander or the python code so here we uh, interpret the delay uh, the delay input we're using the str2 long uh, or to L, which uh, refers to long function, which takes in the string or the pointer to a string, a uh, reference pointer, which is a null in our case, and the base. Here we're, uh, we're writing uh, functions as, we're writing commands as uh, base 10, but uh, in case we're gonna, we wanna send uh, commands as uh, hex, you're gonna need base 16. Anyway, so in the blinking state, we uh, keep track of the previous time and we do millis minus previous time. Max uh, is more than the delay time. It's basic math, like uh, did we pass that delay time or not? If we passed it, we create this toggle function, toggle LED function. Uh, I add the prototypes here, then I'm gonna define the uh, toggle function. Uh, the toggle LED function so I'm gonna do a digital write 
and now I'm gonna read the, the digital pen which has the LED to know its current state like digital read will return me to me one if the LED is on so I write not digital read that's the excl exclamation uh, point it uh, it flips the state of the LED anyway so uh, and, I, and I update the uh, the previous time otherwise if I'm in the O state I uh, I just write hi to the uh, LED pin for that delay time. If I'm in the F state, I just uh, uh, write low to the uh, LED pin. And if I'm the in the H state, I just halt, like do nothing in an infinite loop that has nothing. Anyway, so here I uh, figured that uh, I need to interpret the uh, the input whenever I'm reading the input, not not always, whenever I have a new input and uh, as well as the delay time else if I'm not receiving anything I need to get back to the blink state uh, this delay t uh, receives default I'm gonna comment out this later because it's wrong like I need to keep uh, wherever last command uh, active otherwise I'm gonna return the state to the B state and I guess that's it so now we're running in it and as you can see I'm passing the 200 millisecond blink uh, time then 600 blinking time then 90 millisecond blinking time now on for two seconds and that's it